So in Vue.js, there's this concept of reactive and non-reactive values. And as the documentation states, the whole dependency injection mechanism, provide and inject, is non-reactive by design. But yesterday, uh, when I was going over some Vue.js code with Daniel Salins, uh, I was seeing what looked like reactive injected service values. And obviously that's a little suspicious because it conflicts with the documentation, so I want to dig in a little bit. So in my root component here, my root Vue.js instance, I'm providing a service injectable called service, and it has just a simple key value pair value is going to start as the initial value. Then I have a single app component nested underneath it, and this app component is going to inject that service. And now in the template, I'm going to see how the template reacts to changes in this injected service, which is again, by documentation, a non-reactive value. So first I'm checking uh, a direct value reference. So this is the injected service, and I'm just interpolating the value directly into the template. Uh, I'm also checking it as a computed value, and you can see that the computed value is nothing but a return of that uh, service value. So the computed value is essentially just a proxy to that uh, injected service. And this is an important test because computed values change only when their reactive dependencies change. And this is a dependency, but it's not reactive. So that'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, I assume that the template will always interpolate the first time correctly. So what we want to see is how these values actually change over time. So what I'm doing here is in the created lifecycle method, I'm setting up a four second or a one second interval, and I'm just setting that service value equal to a random, uh, a random number, and I'm just logging it out as well. Now, what I wanted to also see is whether or not uh, temporally coupled changes to reactive values affected the interpolation of non-reactive values. So in this case, I also have a local reactive value in my data, which I'm calling shim. And you'll see that in my created lifecycle method, I'm updating that shim value. I'm just incrementing it every four seconds. So we're updating our non-reactive value every one second and our local reactive value every four seconds. So let's go ahead and see how the application changes. Let me refresh. So what we see first of all is that the initial rendering worked, right? What we're seeing now as time goes on that the computed value never changes. And again, that's because computed values only change when their reactive dependencies change, but because the injected service is not reactive, the computed value never changes. Now, we're also seeing that the direct service value changes, right? If we jump back into the template, that is actually referring directly to the injected service and its property value. We are seeing that change. However, we're not necessarily seeing a change at the interval that we would expect. Remember, if we go back to the created lifecycle method, we're updating that service value every second. And in fact, if we look at the console log here, you can see that it's updating every second. However, if we check here, what we notice is that the value actually only changes every four seconds. And that four second interval is what is changing our local reactive value in the data object, that shim property. So what's happening here is that every four seconds, this shim value is being updated. And when the shim value is updated, it causes the template interpolation to be reevaluated. And it's only at that point that the direct service value is also updated within the interpolation. So as it, again, as the document said, injected values are non-reactive by design. So what I was seeing was very likely a non-reactive value interpolation being updated because it was coincidentally happening at the same time a local reactive value was also updating. That local reactive value caused change detection to be triggered inside of the component template, which again coincidentally pulled in the updates to the non-reactive injectable service. So this is mostly a, uh, a, a note to self here. Um, this is day two for me on Vue.js, so I don't really have any mental model whatsoever. And uh, this is just helping me get a better handle on how Vue.js works, especially with the concepts of reactive and non-reactive values.